Well, that was the crack. My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2, Episode 5 Wolves. Okay, so just a quickie recap. I don't know why I need to recap because it's already been recapped in uh, Daniel's um, recapping. But yeah, we escaped from um, an insane cultist lady by the name of Lisbeth. Well, uh, Sean didn't escape, but Daniel escaped because he was sort of lured in there because of their sanctuary, because of their. Uh, Christian values, their holds and values and, and, and whatnot, which he took at face value. But what he didn't realize, he was being used for his powers as this sort of um, deity, as this sort of god to be worshipped. And then Mama Bear comes along and uh, more or less talks some sense into him with the help of his big water, Sean, as well. And uh, yeah, we ended up killing Elizabeth as well. I'm not sure if there was an option to spare her life or not. All I can remember is there was two options. There was one where Daniel kills her or one where I kill her. I think I chose the one where I killed her. But I think because this game has the whole butterfly effect, uh, if I choose different dialogue options, different dialogue paths will be open to me. So there might have been a path where I could have spared her life. But then again, I I'm not sure. It could be the case... But then again, eh, I'm not sure. I'll probably find out if I ever play through this game on my own. But either way, let's get right back into it. So in the Arizona desert. Ooh, I like the colors. Although the, the hue seems to be a bit intense. Like Daniel's shirt is almost blending in with the background. Hey, wake up, Sean. Uh. Dude, come on. Can I do something about that? What? Hold on, hold on. What time hold on. Is it? I, I, I hate to interrupt the uh, dialogue scenes, but I just want to see if I can adjust that. Uh, no. Maybe? Let's see if this is a bit better. Get up! It's so beautiful. Check it out. Oh, I like that sunrise. That's cool. So where are we? We're in... Is this the Grand Canyon? I think it's the Grand Canyon. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. And where's Mama Bear? Have we left her? Oh god, that's so cool. Is your eye okay? Yeah, it just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Just don't yeah. take my other eye out, okay? I need that one. Okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? No, yeah. that's so sweet. I love you too. Okay, Wolf Brothers, what's the story with you? I want to know if you're still with your mom. Yes, brothers. Always. Ah, we stand forever. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No. I guess. I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe... And you shouldn't. That's bad. Uh, I suppose we should tell him it is bad because we want to set him on the right path. We don't want him growing up to be a psychopath. We don't want to sort of mollycoddle him. Uh, is a very Irish expression I just used. Yeah, it is bad, Daniel. We killed someone. Even though we had no choice. I know. She was so nice at first. Nobody can tell me what to do with my power. Especially her. Oh, with great power. Oh, we have to go down this route. With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, 
But with great power, you know the drill. I know, I know. Oh, come on, you didn't see the line properly. Don't worry. Sean. Are we criminals now? Oh, hell yeah, criminals to max right here. Definitely mean like we we killed someone, we hurt a shop owner, uh, we stole things, I think. So yeah, we're bad boys for life. Sort of. We did a lot of illegal shit. We also worked in a weed Cops farm. Catch us. Well, I'm not sure about the legality of that. That's because sure. I know in certain states it's I won't legal. Let them get us. Whoa. Well, Daniel, that's intense. Calm down. We're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but... But? We'll have to leave soon. Oh. I know. I'm sorry, you know. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Wait, what do you mean by the rest of the wolf story? The wolf story is based on our little adventure, and our little adventure isn't finished just yet, is it? Ah, uh, but yeah, I suppose I can tell you. Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. It's been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to the Mama Wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied... The evil Chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together uh, um excuse me who's telling the story you are exactly it's my story too right uh, choices but you know what i'll say yeah that's that's true <laughs> yeah that's true okay then so what happens next uh Okay, so the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. <gasps> he did not. He's very dangerous. He is? But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. Whoa. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. <laughs> okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Okay, that was a good twist you put on it, Daniel. But Gotta remember, clean up our stuff before we leave. No psychopathy. This place is too pretty. Is that the word I'm looking for? Psychopathy? Yes, yeah, psychopathy. Don't be a psychopath. In other words, don't be torturing animals or whatnot. Okay, so we've got to pack our shit away. Pack the telescope. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Also, Daniel, I hey, just noticed. I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Okay, yeah, Daniel. I just noticed you've got your decent hair back. You don't have that stupid monk's cut on you, like you, like you did in the last episode. <laughs> okay, so you're back to your uh, normal self. Well, normal in uh, My quotes. That hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Yeah, my ass hurts a little, but you don't hear me complaining. Okay. Go on, grab the flashlight there. Activate flashlight. On the way. Thank you. What else? What else do we have to put away? Ooh, Constellations book, yeah. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Because he's a punk Maybe ass bitch. It reminded him of mom too much. Oh. Or that seems the most likely yeah. option. Right. 
What else? What else? There is another book here. Oh, we can draw. We can do drawings. Yay! Oh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. After you took out my eye. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. You son of a bitch. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Okay, cool. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Okay, add more details. Ooh, that's looking nice. This. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the camera. Hmm. I can try. Yeah, we'll go for a bit of a chilled look. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Tada! Finished. Let me check it out. Yeah, that's cool. But he doesn't look as badass as me. Hey, Daniel, you're going down a very dark path there. Be careful. Okay, now time to put away already the rest of the crap here. <sighs> Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Hey, little punk. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? <laughs> no shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. Before I break That's it across fun. your head. Okay, and the soda pops. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Again, like, where is the mom? Like, are they just stopping here? Or, or what? Like, are they on their way to the border now? In At this particular moment? Is this just a layover, a stopover, or, or what? I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Yo, Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Ah, Captain Can, of course. Captain Can do. Now, uh, oh, my backpack. What do I need in my backpack? Yeah, we, we have everything, I think. What? Oh, that's our Leon S. Kennedy jacket. Come on, that is very Leon S. Kennedy esque. Jeez, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Right, so we're done now, right? 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 Okay, I just back these away. And done. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. Wait, Daniel, I hear your powers. What the hell are you doing? Are you playing with rocks? Torturing animals or something? Like a psychopath? Oh, what Jesus. Do Don't do that, you fucking psycho. What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. What's the big deal? Look. Stop. Seriously? What did you do that for? Uh, whatever. That thing could sting us to death. So what? You just torture it? Jeez. Dude, I didn't even kill it. I was just goofing around. Let's just head out now. What the hell, Daniel, you freaking little psycho? Where's the scorpion gone? I wish we saw my falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Don't piss when they fall. <laughs> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. <laughs> You could have warned me quicker. At least we got to see Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah. These guys are real cool. Oh, oh my god. 420 weed. Yes, can we smoke this? Amazing that anything can grow out here. 
Oh, it's not Doesn't that type of weed. In the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not. I'm not that smart. Hell yeah, you're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here, not hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. <laughs> Why do you think? Not because you're a freak. She's um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. I'm not sure she can deal with it. All of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. Probably right. I hear you. Okay, Whoa. Daniel, do How your thing. Rock slide, I guess. So, are we trapped? Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. Okay, Daniel, do your thing. So, hey, time now. maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. With your superpowers. Whoa! <gasps> Just freaking nerfed him off oh. the cliff. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, Just man. don't do that to me. So we're staying in a bit of a campsite, are we? That's cool. And uh, is my camera's frame rate getting lower again? Can I fix that? Okay, here, here it is. The intro, Life is Strange 2, Episode 5, Wolves. Uh, it seems alright, kind of. Because I kind of got used to settings now I found the right settings to use to get the full 60 FPS but it does seem to be dipping a small bit I'm noticing a small bit of flicker the flicker fl fl flickering Jesus Christ flickering yeah. I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing <laughs> go for it and Joanne to the telescope to Stanley and is spelled wrong in the subtitles went to town for weekly supplies some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> Back soon. Oh, I love pancakes. So this is our home away from home. Daniel, for the time being. Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. Flying pancakes? You mean was he throwing them at you? Mm -hmm. Oh, what about the crops? Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I can grow stuff like she can. Maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Yeah, I, I heard an aeromo plane, but I didn't see no aeromo plane. Huh, weird. Well, out of sight and out of mind. So let's check out what we have here. So this is Karen's trailer. This is where we're staying for the time being. <sighs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Oh, and Daniel has a little play area here. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Uh, what the hell is he doing with a can and 
And what? Red tape? Are you trying to MacGyver some sort of explosive together? Jeez, Denton really is going off the deep end. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Oh, how to make filtered water. That's cool. Oh, we can climb up here. Watch this now, I'll probably fall or something. Oh, and would you look at that view. God, I love the colours. I, I love the vast sort of emptiness. Because you have this little trailer park, whatever, whatever the mm. hell it is, and Arthur nothing else. And Stanley probably want their telescope back. Some of this might make for some good thumbnail material if I get it in the right position. Although I normally get my thumbnails from cutscenes. Still, because there's no heads up display, there's nothing really to get in the way bar this big play sign. Uh, okay. So, oh, we can draw no again. What happened. Okay, let's see what we can observe from here. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hey, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, definitely draw wolf pack. Because wolves are awesome. They're like doggos. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Yeah, that looks awesome. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Okay, is that is is that all the dialogue? Yeah, okay, I that's all there is to see. But yeah, living off the grid like this would be kind of cool, but I don't think I could fully live off the grid. I'd need to have a bit of social media to know what's going on in the outside world. Place. But that's what's cool about it. Like, uh, if this place had broadband, you'd be set. As while I don't exactly like living in the countryside, I do enjoy sort of peacefulness of it sometimes. Although sometimes the peacefulness can also be way too peaceful. I should bring the telescope back to... Okay, okay, we get it. It can be way too quiet out here, is, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, while I like my quietness, I don't like it too quiet. Too quiet that, that um, I feel like there could be a serial killer outside my freaking bedroom window. Okay. Oh, water tank. So, what are we discussing with Daniel about this? Dude. We could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yeah. Then I could be gone boy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. Well, you could get some from a shop, although no shop exists out here. 
We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Yeah, but how do you plan on being self-sufficient in Mexico? Like, you have relatives there, but you don't know where they are. You haven't spoken to them, probably. Oh, she was nice. A new souvenir. Getting all the achievements today. Although, I'd prefer if I was playing this on the PS5. I picked it up on Steam because Steam games are normally cheaper. I used to that scenery. Okay, so where is um, Alan and, and uh, Alan and Dave, or the, uh, Alan and Bill, or whoever I need to return this telescope to? Ooh, BBQ. Nice. Are you the people Morning, I need to return? Morning, oh, guys. Stanley and Arthur. Yes, I, I need to return your uh, telescopy to. Here's your telescopy back. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Rest my caboose. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. Ooh. And dust free. Thanks. Dust free brew. So the best much. type of brew. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <laughs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. Oh, are can you, you a couple? Long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Uh, does she visit a lot? Is what I need to know. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. But why come out here, mate? It's so rural and quiet. So... Why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Oh, I, I guess in so some parts I'm of the country, 60, maybe. And I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock. But I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters don't even talk to me anymore. Why stay? After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. Arcadia Bay? I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel will find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Clarence Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Okay, talk to you two hippie dippies later. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kind of weird. Shut up, bigot. You know it's actually <laughs> normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean... I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Aww. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Wait, did he just call me artist and... Ooh, David's traitor. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Oh, 
antenna. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, so not so off the grid. He's got a, a TV antenna for watching TV and Too bad there's... I hope the UFOs are listening. This is for a radio. Wait, is there a TV in here? I, I, can I even enter in this trailer? No, I, 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 I can't. He's got a few gadgets and gizmos here, but I don't see no TV. Nope. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what is that picture? Can I zoom and enhance? No, I, I, I can't, I can't. No way. No freaking way. Nah. Nah, no. No, it's coincidence. Coincidence. Never mind. Net, net. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, no, no, no. It, it, it is. David Madsen! David Madsen from Life is Strange 1! This is his trailer! Look, 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 there he is! There he is with the big mustache, there's Chloe's mom, and there's Chloe herself! Oh my god, I didn't think we'd see another character from Life is Strange 1! But here it is! Oh, it's not a proof! I didn't think we'd see him, or anyone from Life is Strange 1. Does that mean he's living here with Chloe? Is Chloe here? Like how does how does this affect or how does my decisions from Life is Strange one affect the dialogue here? Oh, I remember seeing this picture. That's why it looks so familiar. Supposedly fun thing I'll never do again. Uh, okay, whatever that is. Oh, oh my God! I can't believe it. Because in Life is Strange one, in the end, there was really only two endings we could choose to save Chloe and destroy Arcadia Bay or choose to sacrifice Chloe and save everyone in Arcadia Bay. So I wonder how that would affect this bit of a storyline here. Oh, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. But first, um, I want to explore my own trailer here. Been recording for what, huh? Only a little over, over half an hour, but oh my god, that's so cool. That's so freaking cool. Uh, oh, Karen's bed. Oh, she, she's sleeping on the couch. Actually, uh, what did this note, there's a note from her here saying, saying what? <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. How did he even make money uh, out, out here? I mean, she's a poet. But what, does she sell her poetry or, or, or something? Or do people sell their artwork or whatever they do? It's weird. Uh, okay, take USB key. Whatever that is, whatever would be on this. But yeah, it's uh, something to think about. Because you're, you're out in the middle of nowhere, living in a desert commune. So what? Do you just trade things for other things? But like water and stuff, you, you can't you can't get water out here. I mean, there, there doesn't seem to be any proper irrigation. Not that I know of, anyway. Okay, we have a letter. There's probably going to be a lot of things here to, to read. I'll probably skip over half of them. This to Clarence to you. Hi, Mom and Dad. I've been thinking about this letter for a while, and I know it's been a long, long time coming. So I'm sitting here tonight thinking about the words I should have written ten years ago. You always used to say, everything happens for a reason. We fought about it then. Oh, that part scribbled out, I think. I understand why now. There's a reason I feel like I have to reach out to you both tonight from the desert. I know you only heard from me once, only by phone and six times by letter for almost a decade. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I was certainly not trying to punish you. Don't laugh, but I just didn't know what to say or write. A poet's block. Just like how you had to block me from your life after I left Esteban. I understand that was how you had to deal with an only child who didn't live up to your expectations. There's no denying that I failed you, but the weight of your aspirations as parents failed me too. 
You had such a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be that I just didn't have the opportunity to explore who I actually was. You wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a good job and a great husband, settle down, have kids and raise them in faith to continue the cycle of suburbia. I know that you were raised in a different time and culture so I didn't understand your point of view. Like you didn't understand your wayward daughter, maybe a bridge too far for us at the time. After Danny was born, you knew I wanted to take a break or some time to figure out things in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to you or dad and I get that but I was so desperate and only Esteban was willing to give me that time because he saw how unhappy I was. I don't blame you for my decision to leave and maybe a time out would have led to the same outcome. We will never know and I try not to live in regret. My life has been a roller coaster, and there have been times I long to hear your voices and thoughts. And I know when I last talked to you in New York to ask for help in paying back my debts, you wanted to help, but that was on your condition to return right back to where I couldn't return. I hate that was our last conversation. I'm sorry I reached out to you this day. I'm sorry I broke your hearts. I'm sorry I let you break mine for silencing me for so long. I think we've paid our dues. And now I sit under a blue field of crystal stars like the poet I hope I am. Writing and waiting for a chance to rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Love your daughter. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Okay, Daniel has doodles there. There's poems. She's really good at rewriting her own life. I am a solo Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning. Resign myself to new faces. The privilege to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans, then shows me the page left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, the seeds return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go back forward, layered with fear and hope, to water the children of the sun. What's that about Daniel and me? Alright, uh... Okay, there, there is a lot of things to read here. Oh, picture. Looks like they all finally found their home. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. I wonder w which one is David. I, 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 I couldn't tell you or even if David's in this at all. Right, there's another picture of Carol, I think. Or Karen. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Which one is she? The one on the left or the right? Maggie and Karen. So Maggie is the one on the left and the Karen is on the right. Jesus. The pictures definitely don't match up to the faces. Okay, there's another poem. There's uh, Jacob's letter. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. Hola, Sean. Sorry I did not write to you sooner. But this was the first time I've had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point, thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it really happened. It's so bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to return to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room in a small beach town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You were lucky to have each other, and we were blessed when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our humbled crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everybody is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jake. Oh, thanks, Jake the Cake. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Oh, this is from Sarah as well. Hi, Daniel. Hope you're good and happy. I feel so much better now. I'm happy I got to see the ocean for the first time. Even tried to surf. I think I could be good at it. I wish you were here so we could go to the beach, even if the water is cold. I love this weather, way more than the heat. Please come see us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends, Sarah Lee. Less than three. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. The clothes on the floor got to tidy. That mess got to be a good boy. And there's a box. What's in it? 
She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? Oh, can just briefly scan through this. Uh, if they cannot have pencil over the manuscript, but I agree. Date the publisher has the right to recover. Oh, she had to pay 10 grand back. Yikes. That is a lot of money. That's a lot of freaking money. That's like the price of a car. Drifter's letter. Who's the drifter? Glad they're back on track. Hmm. I'll always have a crew out there. Yo, Diaz. Our boy Jacob to stop with your P.O. box. You can't hide your ass from us, bitch. We know you're in the desert like a lizard. Miss ya, Penny. Aww. Hope you and Daniel are free now. Colorado is more weed and rednecks, but less violent. We can chill until we decide where the fuck to go next. Hannah. Ah, that's sweet. And then, hard to believe Finn isn't here to start shit anymore, and we don't miss him for that. But he'll get a few more songs out of me. We want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. Mexico isn't that far away, so get ready for some immigrants coming your way. Take care of your brother and let him take care of you. Peace out, Cassidy. Oh, and that's her number. Ah. And just a few more things here. Okay, that's eye medicine. That's uh, our mom's bra. Let's not touch that. And wait, a snake clamp. What would you need that for? Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> what? How did those things even get into the toilet? I'm seriously re reconsidering about going to America someday. <laughs> oh God, no way! But then again, I've heard of Stranger Things in Australia, like fucking to uh, tarantulas and toilets. Uh, what what else? Even alligators or crocodiles and toilets. Jesus, that is some next level bullshit. No, 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 no. Not even on, on a holiday. I I'm risking too much. Not if my buns have the chance to get bit. I need these buns. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Yeah, maybe they were. Oh, we can use our USB key on this. I totally forgot about that key. Whoa. Hey, Dad. Oh. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Okay, so that's all that crap. So where do we have to go now? I know there's a, a few more things to interact with here, but, you know, time is money, and uh, I'm on the clock. Well, not, not really, not that YouTube pays me, even though technically they should, maybe. Seen as they paid a scammer who got over 1.5 million subscribers by paying for them. Ooh, swap box. So wait, do we just swap things out here? Or what? It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Ah, okay, so we share all our stuff within the community. This is like um, a big share box kind of thing. And what the hell are these? Well, they're sculptures, but... Jesus, this one is crazy. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Okay, her name is June. Not Joanne, or if it is Joanne, spell it the right way. It's J O A N N E. Oh, the big bird have a yoke here. Ooh, movie theater. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching you how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> you know what? I thought that was going to be a bit of a game-breaking glitch there. Because I didn't think we'd see him using the walkie-talkie. But, uh... Right, ready-ho, ready-ho. What are you doing? What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. 
Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah. You're telling me. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Uh, just doodles. I don't know. It's just... Doodles and shit. No big deal. Yeah. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Hmm. Well, what brought you here? That is the million dollar so why question. why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Cool. Oh. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need help. Okay. Uh, sure. When? Actually, you know what? I'm not going to interfere. Um, it's your art, Joanne. I just don't think I should get in the way, if that's cool. Of course, Sean. Do what you want. That's why we're all here. I mean, I really just did that. Joanne so he... is a real fighter. And we can see it in her art. Well, Daniel, you know what it means. Let's get to work. All right, yeah, like I said, I just really didn't feel like doing any more fetch side quests just to cut down on the time. I'm pretty sure it's nothing major, though. Like, I'm not missing out on a lot of dialogue. So, uh, wait for Karen to come back. Like, what, do I have to wait for Daniel to do his thing? Very good. What? what do you think? That's yeah, perfect, Daniel. Keep going. Because I don't think there's a lot of other things for me to do here. Uh, I didn't go down this way yet. Ooh, town sign. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now. Away, Arizona. Pop, fuck knows. Established in 1975, welcome to Away. Leave the past today, you can forever stay the Founding Sisters. Did our mom write that? It sounds like something she wrote. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. This part of town? It doesn't look like a town, it looks like a desert commune. So, is there anything else I can do? Ooh! Legs. Now that's some real patriots. And a wood bear, wait, didn't we have a wood bear like this before? I read Karen's last column <laughs> in the desert. You think they picked this up at the gas station? <laughs> the one not. with the girl asking herself if her baby's father. Looks like Brody, the bad. Super Wolf to Professor D. Copy. I hit something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? How long have I been recording? A little under an hour. Yeah, yeah, might as well. 10 4. Okay. You're on it, I know. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal a 
Deal. Many wings that cannot that fly. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Well, I hope the many things with, or the many, or the thing with many wings that can't fly is definitely outside because that sounds like a freaking insect. I think it's this because it's got fan blades, but it can't fly. Yeah, this is definitely it. Oh, easy. Boy, matey, I found a map of a way. Yeah, don't need it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. That could be one of three things, <laughs> I think. That could be shade, I, I I think. It could be the crops, because the crops need the sun to grow. Um, or solar panels, maybe. But I haven't come across any solar panels. Oh, okay, so I was in, in the right direction, was I? Warm. It's not in here, is it? Not Dude, Daniel far. told you to search outside. Oh, uh, okay, I thought that was just for the first clue. Dude, you're a snowman. Stumbling from failure to failure. Oh, that's steep. Well, you're in the middle zone. Oh, yes, yes, sword panels. Uh, 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 uh. Close, Sean. Oh, here it is. I better be getting something nice for this. And then X is by the cars near Jones or Joanne's trailer, I should say. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Oh, holy matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Warm. Okay, so it's near the cars, right? Mm -hmm. You're in the middle zone. Getting warm. Wasn't it between here? Guess people came here with these and never left. Oh, oh, treasure. Yes, here you are. Oh, man. You're right there. Just look around. Yeah, I see it. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. So what is it? Yes. I think I have found a hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. 
looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Sure! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Uh, Come okay. On, That's gonna cringe. You're dancing like a broken washing machine, dude. You asked for it. Can you see when you're collected? The age of reason. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Wait, where? Where? Yeah, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Daniel, you better not be lying. Ooh, oh. Yes. Oh, there's a, a, a jeep or a, or, or a what, what you call it, four by four. Yeah, there she comes running down the road. I wonder what she'd run me over. Come on, come on, do it, end me. Boom. Watch out. <laughs> Well, talk about fast reflexes, there, Sean. Uh, yay, Mom, see how you do. Gotta empty that truck. Hey, glad to see you survived the night in the desert. Wait, were you hooting at me? I was right beside you. And who's this guy? Into that small town for supply. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was Not the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Jolie, time, wait. Coming with us. <laughs> I thought her Listen. name was Joanne. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Ah, uh, it was aight. It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. What I want to know is who's the guy beside you? How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> Is that your boyfriend? But we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Sweet. Thanks, David. <gasps> That's David. Catch, Danny boy. Totally. David and Madsen. Always used to play. Is but him? I'm way better now. No. He looks no way matter different. What he's been through. He just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yeah, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the And he definitely sounds different as well. Yeah, been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Uh, you scared? Um, does that kind of scare you? Me? Goddamn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Okay, but now the real question is how many kids did you have? I mean, sure, we saw a picture of David, the wife, and Chloe. I forget the wife's name. Eileen? No, it wasn't Eileen. No, I forget. Uh, but how many kids? Oh, you're going to tell me you had kids? How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or it's definitely a mess. 
a step douche. A hundred percent Dave Madsen here. I'm divorced now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, we can't go back. <laughs> nope. Technically, you did. Dude. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. Okay. Time out. Oh my god, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. Hey, yeah. fuck you, buddy. We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't easy, help it pleased. if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Okay, so we'll just bring in the groceries and I might end the video here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be a good place to leave off. I've been recording for a little over an hour. Uh, maybe a little under an hour. What's my webcam say? My webcam says about an hour and ten minutes. Right. Uh, okay. Oh, crops will make it. Okay, yeah, me, me too. I, I hope your crops make it as well. So I'll pause the game so there's no more dialogue. Right, so that was cool. That, that was amazing to see David Madsen again some character from Life is Strange 1 the first game now there's been one or two references to the first game we passed through or passed by Arcadia Bay or the remnants of Arcadia Bay um wait the beginning of the game what uh, wait hold on no um yeah, at the, start, at the start of the game, in the first episode, or was it the second episode, or third one, whatever. In episode one, we did pass by it. It was still intact. It, it, it was. It, it was definitely still intact, yes. Because in the first game, or in Life Strange 1, my first option was to... Was it to save Chloe, or was it to save Arcadia Bay? Either way... Definitely the save game file from the first game has affected at least this part of the story. So, uh, yeah. So, it took the, it took the decision I made from the end of the game of Life is Strange 1 and implemented it, and implemented it into this game. So, I think it went with the decision I made to sacrifice Chloe to save Arcadia Bay. And made it part of the storyline. Uh, where David and his wife are alive. But Chloe died. And now he's living out here as a hermit. Yes, that that's cool. It's nice to see that bit of... Um, how, how do I say? Linearity from the first game. It's nice to see an easter egg from the first game. Or a direct connection to the first game. It would be nice to see Chloe as well if that was possible. Or even Max or hear or see some reference to her. But uh, that, that that didn't happen which kind of sucks. But oh well that's the way it goes. But yeah I am enjoying the game that little bit more now thanks to that reference. It, it was so cool to see it. It was, it was awesome. Even though David looks completely different. He sounds completely different. And he's definitely uh, put, put on a bit a lot of weight, a lot of desert weight, uh, but uh, yeah, he seems more chill, more relaxed now, more at peace with himself. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. That, that's that's cool. Love it, love it. I hope to see 
more references to the game although I or to the first Life is Strange game although I don't think we will because this is the last episode and I'm gonna have another two parts probably depending on the, on the length of this game or the length of this episode uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah, so guys, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share and of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.